Welcome everyone to uh, our session on digital technology and data-led citizen reporting. Uh, it's great to be here uh, with uh, Professor David Hughes. Um, and I will be uh, just presenting a quick overview of our session today uh, and who we are, and then we'll go straight into a presentation uh, with with David. So um, uh, just to explain who, who we are, uh, my name is John Mundy. I'm the Emergency Response Manager uh, for Mercy Corps Ag Agrofin in East Africa uh, with Desert Locust and COVID-19 emergencies. Uh, professor David Hughes is um, with us, who is the professor in the Department of Entomology and Biology at Pennsylvania State University, and also leads Plant Village, which is an artificial intelligence-based uh, program for climate change adaptation with farmers in Africa. And uh, unfortunately, Elias Nure, who is uh, our project manager in East Africa and regional technology expert, uh, and formerly uh, with ATA in Ethiopia. He was gonna feature today, um, but uh, was un unable to join uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances. Uh, so you just have John, uh, myself and David uh, today. Uh, just a quick uh, note about Agrofin and who we are. Um, we work uh, predominantly with uh, 14 million farmers in, in 130, with 130 partners in, in Africa, mostly in Nigeria, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Kenya. Uh, our goal is to um, improve income, productivity, and resilience uh, uh, with smallholder farmers through digital financial and information services. We work with a range of public and private sector actors, uh, and uh, we um, try and work with digitally enabled uh, services um, uh, bundle of services for smallholder farmers reaching uh, reaching many different uh, uh, value chains. We, uh, as a response to desert locust and COVID-19 crises this year, uh, we've developed some short-term uh, quick responses, information campaigns, uh, citizen reporting efforts uh, to cite desert locusts and other initiatives uh, thanks to the Skoll um, and Cisco foundations uh, and our core, core funding is from MasterCard and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundations. Uh, 